It's somewhat chilling, but this is the tracked path of Flight 370. Up until the moment, it seemingly vanishes over the sea. Now, I want to stress, this doesn't necessarily show where the aircraft came down. If it did, they should have found parts of it by now. There could be other explanations. It may have just dropped below 30,000 feet for some reason. This website doesn't cover that area below 30,000 feet. Or it could mean the aircraft's transponders were switched off or failed. The transponder is a device that keeps pinging out details of the flight to the ground, normally via satellite. You never switch off your transponders on purpose because, for one thing, they help you avoid other aircraft. So, the airliner may have come down in a completely different place. In fact, the Malaysian military may have tracked the airliner to the other side of the country through its own radar system. Frankly, that deepens the mystery. If there was a problem that forced them to divert, why didn't the crew radio in a mayday? They should have had plenty of time.